What is going on, everybody? How's everybody doing tonight? On a Thursday night. Hope everybody could hear me just fine. Let me know if, if you all could hear me. Uh, that way, I, I know my audio is good to go. Normally it is. Uh, normally it is with this... Uh, this little thing I've got going on. Greg Jennings, what's up, buddy? Uh, safe travels. So everybody's heading out to uh, Rush Springs. I've got a couple of buddies, local guys, that are heading out there to uh, – that's heading out there to, to do a little RC racing. So uh, – Safe travels to them, and they might be there by now. I don't know. Uh, got Justin Will says, What up? Jeb McCullough got gave me a thumbs up. Don't kick says, You're good. Appreciate everybody for coming in. Ryan Boyd is watching, Jack Porter's watching. Yeah, I just want to jump on here and uh. See, uh, let y'all in on on a, a little announcement I've got. Uh, of course, the the caption is, am I going to quit photography? As soon as I posted that, uh, I got a lot of phone calls and text messages and everything else. Uh, I got some haters. There are some haters. Uh course if if you get any type of popular you're gonna have haters and uh i wasn't even popular and i had haters starting off in photography uh a couple people know who the people that don't like me uh but it was it was rough for me starting out in photography i got cussed out i got told i'm not good for the sport i got uh it was just if 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 I wasn't known, then I was a nobody. So I had to bust my tail, work my butt off, and fight and scratch my way to where I'm at now. I'm not nowhere near what other media outlets are, but I do appreciate all of you that have followed me in the past. And uh, but as far as me quitting photography. Uh, hell no, I ain't going nowhere. I'm here for good. I don't do this for money. Although this year was the first year I've charged people for pictures. But if you can't afford the pictures, call me. I'll give them to you anyway. Uh, I'm just that guy. But so I'm not going anywhere. But the not a real big announcement, but a small announcement that I need to make is I'm going to grow this, the Hardline show. And if I do that, I need a little help. And by that, I need a co-host. So if you are willing, we're going to do it every Friday or every Monday. So it'll be uh, every single Monday, I'm going to do the Hardline show. So if it's just me on here babbling, uh, going on, watching videos together or whatever. Uh, so I need a co-host, but I need a co-host that is willing to talk. Uh, I don't need somebody that just wants to sit over there and hang out. I need a co-host uh, that can relate to drivers, uh, somebody that is uh, – they don't have to be known in the rock-bouncing world. I was, wasn't was known in the rock-bouncing world uh, until I started taking pictures. If you're just a, a fan of the sport and you have knowledge about the sport, you have knowledge about racers – you keep up, 
message me. Uh, message me so we can talk about uh, you joining the Hardline Show. And if it gets bigger and bigger, of course, I don't have nobody, no money to pay anybody. So it's just going to be – it's going to be for free. But if we get bigger and bigger and if we do have sponsors that want to uh, – want to throw, you know, a couple dollars for us taking time out of our week or out of our Mondays. But it's going to be every single Monday. Uh, we're going to go for 8 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, so that was the announcement. If it's if it wasn't big to you, then I apologize. I also want to apologize to uh, – uh, the people I get on their nerves if I when I put everyone because it tags everyone in the group. Uh, I guess somebody didn't didn't like that too well. They was uh, they said they they was gonna unfollow the group, and I look on there and they're still part of the group. So I don't know if I should block them <laughs> or just let them be. Uh, I mean, if you say you can leave the group, then. But uh, let's see, out the top, off road. Uh, that is. Uh, let me see. Hang on. Oh, okay. They already in. They in Alabama. Wait a minute. Okay, so you're you're going you're in the uh, you're going to the ride for a cure event. Yeah. Wade Goode said Bikini Bottoms. Yeah, I'm going to be at Bikini Bottoms, Wade. Uh, you going to be there? Uh, let's see. Adam Coots is watching. Emma Bentley. Dalton Kick says, damn, you had me scared for a second. No, Dalton, I'm not going anywhere, bro. Uh, I did want everybody to uh, to come on here and, and listen to the announcement, though, because, like I said, I'm gonna try to get this growing. And if I have, if I if I could get a co-host, then uh, then that'll be awesome. Then we will conversate with the drivers and go back and forth, so it'll be easier on me, but somebody else could get knowledge of uh what somebody else might have you know uh 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 Haley Hoback yes uh I'm gonna miss you all too so about this weekend for those of you who didn't know uh I put in for vacation a while back and uh my supervisor said, okay, you got it. You're off Friday. So I was going to take off today after I got off work and head to Missouri. I think it's 10 and a half, 11 hour drive for me. So I was going to be there Friday and y'all know I'm never, I never get to be there on Friday. So I was excited last week. I asked, uh, another supervisor. He's actually my supervisor now. And, uh, I asked him, I said, hey, I'm still off next Friday, right? And he looked, he said, no, you're not. And I'm like, I'm supposed to be. So I was like, you know, I've got people depend on me. A lot of people I know is going to be there, blah, blah, blah. Well, they couldn't find nobody to run my route. So I was like, well. Okay, uh, so here I am in a hotel in Atlanta on a Thursday when I've got two buddies heading out there driving right now, when which I should be with them. But I could have used sick days, but, you know, I, I try to be the, the good guy. Charles Chris is watching. Charles, go get him tomorrow, buddy. I'll be watching you on the live feed. Be watching you on the live feed. 
Let's see. Uh, we got. Let's see. Kobe is talking. See, laugh out loud. It's your page. Just, just take everyone. Tag. Any bottom. Kobe Reich says, I'm in Springfield, Missouri. Stop to eat a steak dinner with Charles Caris. Oh, oh, Charles. Kobe and Charles. I asked Wade if he's going to be in there. He threw me the, I don't know. He's going to be there. At, uh, Bikini Bottoms. Tiffany Porter said, Wade is going to race a buggy just to spice the points up. Hey, you never know. You never know. Then Wade went on and said, heck no. So Wade said he's not. And Tiffany Porter's like, hmm. So uh, I know a lot of people. I know what might happen, but I just put two and two together. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh I think Wade might be there. I don't know if he's going to be in buggy or not. I'm hoping so. Uh, but also, we all know Wade's health. So if he's not, then uh, we don't feel bad for him for not. I mean, we know what Wade is in a buggy. He's uh, he's raw. He's ruthless. He's 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 something else. But uh, so I do need a co-host. Man, you know what? I sent I sent probably 15 links out to drivers. And some of them are in here, but they don't want to come on the show just for a second, just to see how they're doing. So if you if you want a link to come on this show right now, just to chit chat, let me know or keep the comments rolling. This live show might be uh might go pretty quick. But uh let's see, that was from that was from uh Haley Hoback. Yeah, man, I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss you all. I, I love going to events. Man, it's just a it's a it's a drive. Um, Brian Dunnigan, how is the, uh, event down, down there in Alabama shaping up? Uh, I heard it's going to be, you got Clint Garrison's going to be there. You got Randall Key's going to be there. You got Ethan Martin's going to be there. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think who else, what other buggies was going to be there. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a good little show. And I was this close, this close going, going to it. Uh, I mean, it's three hours from me, but this weekend I, I tried to, uh, I tried to save Saturday for, for my son, Dallas. I hadn't got to do anything with him in a while. I mean, all we've done last year is just went to races and that's it. So I, uh, I'm gonna let him decide what what we're going to do. Uh, Tiffany says Jack went alone this time. Uh-oh, Tiffany didn't get to go? Well, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. Dalton, Dalton says, dude, I'm pissed. I'm literally three and a half hours away from Rush Springs and can't go. Dalton, why can't you go? What's up with that? Three and a half hours. That's that's not far at all. That's shoot. You leave the house at five o'clock in the morning and then get back at night. That's a good one. That's like um that's a little bit farther than Wildcat. I think Wildcat's about two and a half from me, something like that. But yeah. That's So, if if Wade does show up to a race, that would almost be like Dex Browder showing up last year. Uh, 
remember when Dex used to show up and he used to get in the points and mess the points up. Yeah, that's how it would be if if Wade come. I did miss Wade. Uh, what race was that? Was that the Kentucky one of the Kentucky races? He was there uh, Friday, but I didn't see him Saturday. So I know what was up with that. So if you know somebody that wants to uh, be a co-host every Monday, the Hardline Show every Monday, uh, if you want to join, join, uh, join up with me on the Hardline Show Monday at eight o'clock. Uh, let me know. Hit me up. Message me, and uh, I'll get with you because we're gonna do some. Uh, interviews on drivers and uh, stuff like that. Let's see. Adam Coote says he's driving to the race now. Uh, Adam, uh, are you racing tomorrow? Are you racing tomorrow and Saturday? Uh, Wade Goo says no a rental I can use for bikini bottoms. Uh, a matter of fact, I do know. Uh, I do know. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot. Just say, just say that, and you know, I probably know a lot. But uh, Selby St. Clair is watching. He said, "Hell, I might just show up. What, show up where? Are you showing up Bikini Bottom, Shelby, or are you showing up Missouri uh, this weekend?" Dalton says maybe Dex can lend. Oh yeah, hey, there you go, Wade. Maybe Dex could lend you uh, Nemesis. Uh, Adam said he is uh, he is racing tomorrow and Saturday. If there's nothing too gnarly, uh, Adam, good luck. You killing it. You you killing it over there on the uh, on the Ultra Four side. Proud of you, buddy. That's uh, you're doing good. Tiffany Porter says, "Way good. Stop playing. Bowman is bringing all three. Yeah, but see, I had this discussion already, Tiffany. Bowman's got three drivers already. Yeah, there you go, Wade. He's already got three drivers. So Shelby says, "You never know. I have a truck and a race car." And I could drive it anywhere. Well, Shelby, that is true. You can drive it anywhere. But are you? Are you going to? Because we, you have a Ultra 4 car, correct, Shelby? Uh, if that's the case, we have only seen... Uh, we got a couple drivers in here. Uh, how, many, how many Ultra 4 drivers... Our buggies have we seen out on the bouncer courses? We've seen Paul. We've seen uh, uh, West. What's his name? Oh, my mind just went blank. West, not West Keen. West. Uh, then uh, blah 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 blah. Yeah, Derek West. Uh, What's the other guy? Uh, the, dang it. Um, one tried at Mid American, didn't work out for them. <laughs> uh, his son used to race too. Uh, but yeah, shall we bring bring out Ultra Four car out? Race, race, race with them bouncer guys. See what you got. I know you need some uh, seat time. Uh, and that means nothing. A buggy can be raced by multiple drivers. I just like busting y'all out. <laughs> we know, Tiffany. <laughs> we know. Uh, yeah, it was Derek West. But the other the other guy had the single seat rear engine buggy. Uh, he races... Uh, he used to race rock bouncers. But it was like an Ultra 4 car. His, I can't believe I forgot his name. 
Y'all know who I'm talking about, though. Uh, his kid used to race a UTV also. Uh, let's see here. I also like to make the other stress about the unknown. <laughs> That's right. You never know these days. Yaunt. Yes, Yaunt. Anthony Yaunt. That's the other one. So you got Derek West, um, Anthony Yaunt, and Paul Wolf. Is there any other Ultra 4 guys that actually raced in a bouncer race? But, uh, yeah, it was Anthony. Those are the only three that I could remember. I'm sure there's plenty more, but those are the only three that that really come to mind. So, Shelby, yeah. I mean, those guys raced them. I don't see why you couldn't bring, bring yours out anytime. I miss you. I know that. We got we need to get together, but you way down in Texas. So who's who's headed to the race right now? Do I have any people on here headed to the race or that's already at the race? Who is say Timmy's new buggy isn't ready by bikini bottoms? Uh it could be, but uh I'm pretty sure. He said on, on my live show that if he was going to race it, he wasn't going to be ready. He wasn't going to race it until next year. So, uh, let's see. Chris says uh, they used to do bouncers versus Ultra 4 at Superlift Park after the Ultra 4 race. Oh, really? Chris, I need you on this show. Are you a shy person? You want to come on here? I'll send you a link if you do. I say you're pretty shy. I don't. I don't. I don't see you on the computer talking to people much. Of course, everybody's shy. But heck, I'm even shy. But I try to try to do what I could do. So, who y'all got this weekend? I believe there's 19 total bouncers. Um, who y'all got in a bouncer class this weekend? If there's 19, there's probably only going to be 15 that show up because I don't know if Ethan Jones is going to be there. Uh, Ethan Martin's not going to be there. Um, so that's two. So that's down to 17. Uh, so who do y'all have uh, top three in the bouncer class? Is Brandon going to be consistent? Is... Uh, is it going to be – is Heckley going to go all out, go crazy? Uh, is – and I say crazy, but you know what I mean. Uh, hit that hit that gas pedal a little bit harder just because, you know, he's 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 far behind now. Uh, Coop, let's see who is that. Uh, Chris says, I've done a couple podcasts before. Holler at me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Jeb McCullough says uh, – Heckley, Brandon Davis, and Coop. Okay. All right. Matt Myrick is watching. Uh, who you got, Matt? Who you got this weekend? Uh, let's see. Dalton says, Daniel first, Brandon second, and Stortz third. I cannot remember. I don't think Stortz is going to have Ford playback yet. So, uh, that's going to be... He's going to have his hands – he could do it, but old reliable, old showstopper 2.0, that's that's a that's a big old heavy buggy. Uh, Jody Krupinski says Daniel, Brandon, and Coop. All right, there we go. Uh, Bibo Watt says Heckley, Davis, and Coop. Uh, but cheering for Stortz. Uh, Dalton says Missouri boy is gonna take it. I pray. Um, Cooper, I'm telling you, whoo wee, Cooper's uh, that guy right there. He's he's one of a kind. He's 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 so polite, but when he's in that buggy. It's something turns on and, but 
if he's in the buggy, he can still be polite, but he knows he knows. Let's see if uh hey uh hey Chris, you wanna set it up for next week? Here, I'll just I'll just holler at you here in here in a little while. Let's see. Can't wait to see Jay when he gets his buggy back. Jody, you got that right. You got that right. I can't wait neither because you, you know he's you know he is ready to go. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, Mr. Krapinski, who do you have, Jody? Who you got in the uh, UTV Cup class tomorrow? Who do you all think is going to win the Cup class? Is Braden Up Church going to? Sneak up on that podium again. He's been he's been killing it lately. Uh, is uh, Stortz gonna be up there in the Cup class? Is uh, the Casey brothers? What are they gonna do? Or not stock class in the yeah in the Cup class? What's the Casey brothers gonna do? Uh, you know what what's uh. It's it's gonna be exciting. I'm a I'm a like I said I'm gonna watch it tomorrow uh, when I get off work. So good luck to all you UTV guys. But who y'all got in a UTV Cup? I'm gonna go the Cup class. Let me go with Clay Cooper and Josh Krupinski. Those are my two three. All right, those are my top three. Clay Coop will be up there somewhere. Oh, we gotta get your top three, Jody. We got yeah, that's Clay Coop and Josh. Those that's somebody says I don't watch UTV. I don't know who that is. Oh, Tiffany. Tiffany, I don't watch UTV. So why not? You gotta support everybody, girl. I watch everybody. I just don't get to watch the cup class uh, as much because I'm not there on Friday. I do watch them on the live feed. Shout out to Bree Molitor and uh, Matthew Holt. I do appreciate them. If it wasn't for them, uh, none of us that can't go, we wouldn't be watching nothing. Okay, so Josh is just racing the bounty. All right, so now I need a new cup. No. I need a new cup class. Let's see here. Clay. Coop. Brayden? No. Let's, let's go with Cody. Yeah. Somebody just said that. Yeah. Who? Clay, Coop, and Cody. Yeah, that's what I just... Tyler Young, yes. That was Tyler Young. Uh, I agree. Uh, oh, yeah. Forgot about Adam. Adam is on a mission. Uh, I did forget about Adam. Adam's, he's, he's, he's coming, he's coming quick, too. He ain't messing around. I don't know what it is with him and that new buggy, but he ain't messing around. Uh, Jody said Madison. Madison could be up there. Um, I would probably pick her more for the bounty than the cup class, but Madison's a possibility. So who do you all have for the bounty? The bounty. On Saturday, UTV Bounty. Uh, Clay normally don't run it. Uh, so let's go with Coop. You know what I like to see? I like to see Coop, Nathan, King, and Madison King. That would be that'd be pretty neat. Uh, <laughs> Craig Zoller said, Craig Zoller for everything. So are you racing everything? Are you racing 
uh, both classes tomorrow on Saturday? Are you going to be there? Or are you just messing around? Adam said he's going to win it. Woo-wee. Oh, man. Adam said he is going to win it. Justin Wills says Danger Dan. He thinks Danger Dan's going to get the cup. Or, in, or not the cup, the uh, bounty. Justin, where are you at right now? Are you there? Have you made it? Or are you still traveling to there? Because I know, I think you was in Nashville or something. Sam Ball's watching. What's up, Sam? Big RC class going on over there. Uh, uh, Rush Springs. Adam says, hoping to be on the podium for stock, unlimited, and bounty. Ooh. I've never been to Rush Springs, so I was wanting to go so bad. and uh, But unfortunately, things didn't happen. So I don't know what the bounty or, or the the Saturday uh, course looks like. So I don't know if it's going to be crazy or or what. Uh, Justin Will says, Nash Vegas working. You still out there? Dang. Uh, Tiffany says, I'm just wondering what Jack will break this time. Let's go with, um, hopefully nothing, but let's go with a drive shaft. Just something easy. Something, something, something not too hard, but let's hope he doesn't break nothing. Adam says, you need to go to Crandon. You'll never experience anything else like it. I do want to go. Uh, the problem is I only have so many vacation days and, uh, one week is dedicated to my family. And then the other week is normally dedicated to my wife. And then I got three other days and those three other days is, uh, three other days is normally like for finals. I'm off Thursday and Friday in October for finals. So, uh, and then I have another day to use. Adam Coot says Jack's going to be on the podium. Hey, Adam, you let him know you said that. Uh, it's five times bigger than a NASCAR race. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I've seen tons of pictures. Tons of pictures. So, I'm, I'm actually wanting to go out there pretty bad. Uh, let me see. <laughs> see, you just need to just, Justin Will says, see, you just need to tell your work. You won't be there. Simple. Uh-huh. <laughs> let me come work for you, Justin. Uh, let me come work for you. And then, uh, then I could go to all the races you go to. That sounds like a. Great idea. Hang on just a second. Let me message somebody real quick. Anybody got any questions? Sorry about this. I just, I'm, uh, I sent somebody a link to come in here. And if, uh, if he don't want to tonight, then that's fine. Also. Let's see here. Uh,
Uh, Dom says, Justin, when we can get to see you at a outlaw race? Yeah, Justin, when we gonna see you at an outlaw race? Cause you know I be going to them too. Uh, but I think Daniel, let Daniel race your buggy at the outlaw races. That'd be, wouldn't that be interesting? We did see him. Uh, who do you get points for? He got points for somebody. Was that Winrock? I think I forgot who he got points for. I remember, I remember seeing him in that buggy. I do remember. Uh, let's see. I will contact um, Jeb McCullough. I'll contact you, message you uh, in a little bit about the maybe coming on, being a host. But, yeah, I'm looking for a host. You know anybody? Anybody that wants to jump on here and share the screen with me and uh, chit chat about rock bouncing, but I'm gonna even if I don't have a, a co-host, I'm still gonna come on here just like I am today. But I'm gonna have something set up. I will uh, do my homework before the before the uh, the live feed, so I know what I'm talking about. We could go on through there. We'll watch videos together. Watch my videos. We'll watch uh, Matter M11. We'll watch Busted Knuckle. We'll watch High Octane Films. Uh, I get along with all three of those guys. Um, they've let me use their videos in the past, and I do appreciate all those guys. Uh, I might be leaving people out, but I don't know. But anyways, uh, any questions? Any questions? Let's see here. All righty. All righty. Bikini bottoms. Uh, there, I, I, I think. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be over. I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say probably uh, there's bikini bomb is probably going to be over 22 bouncers there. That's just my, uh, that's just, that's just what I think. Um, because I know some people that's going to be there that, wouldn't be there to begin with. Uh, Brett Rose says, tell us your favorite parks for filming. Uh, you know, I haven't been to a lot of them. Uh, I haven't been to a lot of, like, there's a couple, like the one in Arkansas. I haven't been out there yet. Uh, what is that, Hot Springs? Yeah, Hot Springs. I haven't been out there yet. I haven't been to Rush Springs. Um, I haven't been to... Yeah, there's some I haven't been to. But my favorite... Uh, well, if you go off of just on travel time, I like Windrock. Because Windrock is... 40, 45 minutes from my house. So, you know, it's pretty comfortable for me. Uh, uh, so maybe, we, maybe, we, me, 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 me. Let's see. I do like Winrock, though. Winrock's pretty, uh, pretty nice. But I tell you what, after. Going there on earlier this year, and a lot of people say this trail just because it's a well-known trail, but Cable Hill is pretty awesome to sit there and watch the beat down as you're filming, as you're taking pictures. Uh, yeah, Cable Hill probably is is my favorite. 
Uh, big shout out to Matt with Busted Knuckle. Uh, I got the invite for him from him for his birthday. He had a little birthday bash there. So I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. We're headed to Hot Springs next weekend. Trailer has an open bed for you. Man, that would be nice. That would be real nice. Um, uh, I think next weekend. Uh, next weekend. Yeah, I have a RC, my local RC event that I that I run. Uh, I have it next weekend. I appreciate the offer, though. I do appreciate the offer. Chris Grigg, what's going on, y'all? We're burning up the road somewhere in western Kentucky on the way to Missouri. Cool. Cool. Heck yeah. Y'all uh, y'all be safe heading out there. Uh, Hang on just a second. We might have a special guest. Uh, tonight. But I want to give him the credit that he's that that he's due. So uh, so if he gets to get on here tonight, um. I don't want to say who it is until he does get on here. But if he does, we're just going to go over something real short just to introduce himself. And uh, he deserves a lot of credit for the way these buggies are going today. And if that's the case, we're going to announce it. And hopefully we'll have him on next week. Uh, but we might have him on today. Tyler Young says, I believe Bikini Bottoms is going to be the biggest National Rock Racing Series race of the year. I do, yes. Um, Tyler Young, I agree with that completely. Uh, Brian Bieber Watt is asking, uh, He's asking Brett Rhodes if that's the Bronco event. I don't think it is. Brett Rhodes says we have about 30 rigs going, so they might just be going to trail ride. Maybe check the park out to have uh, to host uh, one of the outlaw events. Bebo, I don't know. Okay, yeah, he said yes, it is. So it is the Bronco event. Uh a local buddy of mine says I'm a stud. Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh O C B R. I'm sure that's a Bronco name. A Bronco event. Uh let's see. Hey, Brett, when, when's the schedule going to be out? Uh, or when does it normally come out? Uh, I can't, I can't remember when, when everybody puts their next year's schedule out. I know, uh, the outlaw season, it ended, uh, a while back. Uh, but do you know, do you know when, that the schedule's going to be out? Because I know people are bothering you. You got two born parks to finalize. Gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I know one of them's not going to be, but, man, Windrock would be nice. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> February to June or July. What do you mean by that? February to June or July.
yeah, Jed, that's a good question. Oops. Uh, is it going to be six races? Because I remember something about expanding. Um, Brett, I, I was wanting to say you might have been on my show. I, uh, don't get me wrong. I might have heard you on another show. But you did say that you was expanding, correct? Uh, Going to have at least uh, one more race, something like that. So he says the schedule should have it out in about three weeks. Awesome. Bebo says a lot of the Bronco buddies, customers will be there. And customers will be there. That's cool. That is cool. Okay. That's why we aren't sure if the finals are in June or July. Timmy asked me that last night, so I figured I would ask. Uh-oh. Did Jed just spill the beans? Does that mean Timmy's coming back next year? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Tanner says, uh, came in late. What's new? Tanner, uh, I just spilled the beans to everybody that I am officially quitting photography. I'm, uh, going into a Lego, uh, building business and, uh, I'm going to start building, uh, rock bouncers out of Legos. <laughs> just joking. Just joking, Tanner. Uh, no. I am not quitting photography. I will never quit photography. Um, I love it. Uh, I do it because I like to do it. Uh, I don't do it for the money. Of course, just like the drivers, they don't do it for money. Just like the event coordinators and owners, they don't do it for money. Uh, I do it because I love it. Uh, but the thing was is uh the announcement was tanner that i am expanding so i'm not quitting i'm expanding the hardline show and i was looking for a co-host on mondays uh somebody that could sit down and be on camera with me interviewing drivers interviewing uh owners of series interviewing wives of racers uh stuff like that so uh yeah just just announcing that i'm just trying to grow instead of being being silent i'm gonna be more active on the live feeds because i have i have got uh some feed some feedback you know about the live feeds and uh, some people like it. Uh, Brett Rhodes says, opening Hawk Prize, Hawk Pride, finals at Blue Holler. Okay. I like both of those. I, I like both of those. Uh, Tanner says, I was about to say you're one of the best out there. Man, I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. I, uh, I don't, I try to get, I try to get better and better, but I don't have the knowledge. I don't have the years that other people's had, but I try to do my best at what I do. Uh, I actually went way over my head this year. Uh, I'm currently setting up a, uh, a organ organization, like a form that I could go by. Because uh, sometimes I forget people, and I hate it, especially if people pays you money to do stuff, and uh, you're you're getting ran in a thousand different ways. So next year, I'm gonna be well organized on what I'm doing. This year, I just do it together, and uh, you know, I just uh, I like I said, I feel bad. Because I do forget. I do still have to get posters out to all my outlaw guys. I was trying to uh, 
wait until the other series is over also because uh, I get a, a bigger discount on uh, if I do it all at once. So, uh, you know, just Jay Stores. Hey, y'all, just got on. What's new? What did I miss? Well, I was just telling Tanner that uh, I am officially quitting photography. I'm going to go into uh, building uh, Rock Bouncer Legos. And uh, no, I'm just joking. I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh, not much, Jay. I'll never quit photography. Um, that I am expanding. I am needing a co-host every Monday. We're going to be doing interviews. We're going to be chit-chatting about uh, racing, drivers, uh, rock bouncing families, uh, kids, uh, doing interviews with kids. We're going to try to expand this hardline show. Um, just make it a little bit better. And uh, some people don't like it which I understand, and some people like it. Uh, Jed said, I will say I really enjoy the show. Down to earth, not always perfect, but that's what I love about it. Just go with the flow. Yeah, that's pretty much how I got to – that's pretty much how I'm doing. Just go with the flow. Uh, Mary Bonham says experience is the best teacher. Yes, ma'am, it is. It is. Nick Wright is watching. Nick, I sent you a link. Uh, I was hoping you would come on and and let us know how the how the race was up north. So, uh, but if you want to come on, Nick, come on, tell us about what 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 all went on. Brett Rhodes says Sugar Creek is in May. Uh, speaking of Sugar Creek, Jed messaged me and said that uh i don't know if i'm allowed to say that online or not uh yeah i don't know <laughs> sorry about that jed if i'm allowed to say what you messaged me about let me know and then i'll uh i'll announce what what he's got going on up there jay says that's cool we are here at rush springs now just had a big meal with a lot of the race family that's awesome, Jay. That's awesome. Uh, glad to hear that. Wish I was there with you. Uh, one of these days, though, I do want to just hang out with you all because it seems like when I when I go to the races, uh, I get there right on time, take pictures, and then I got to leave because I got to drive five hours back. And uh, But one of these days, I am going to relax and hang out with you all and uh, chit-chat. I would love to do that. Uh, Jed Harper says it's good. Okay. So what Jed was discussing with me the other day is he went up and helped Fritz. Fritz bought a hundred more acres, I do believe. And uh, so uh, when the race is going on up there, there will be plenty of more trails for people to ride on and hang out and have fun. So, uh, Sugar Creek's going to be, uh, it's going to be fun. It's, it's going to be fun. I, I like Fritz's place. So, uh, my sister-in-law is watching. Hello, Cassandra. Let's see here. Uh, Tyler Young, you was on here. Are you still on here? If you are on here, uh, Bikini Bottoms, are you bringing both buggies? Or are you just going to bring uh, one of the buggies? Because I know you got the big buggy going now. Be seeing it. And you driving it like you on a mission. All right. Let's see. Did I miss anything? Uh, Tanner says, I love the interviews. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna have, uh, gonna have some pretty cool interviews coming up. I can't wait. 
It's gonna be fun. We're gonna uh, we're gonna discuss all the ins and outs of what a driver is all about. Uh, as far as like the work week leading up, uh, what do the spouses do? Uh, what uh, what do the kids do? Do they the kids help? Uh, do you practice or you know we're gonna get we're gonna get some uh, interviews that we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. So it's gonna be real fun. Uh, Tyler Young says that's the plan. We will see after this weekend. So Tyler, what are you taking this weekend? I did not catch uh, Matt Holt, the the driver lineup. So I don't know if you are doing both classes, or if you only doing uh, only doing Saturday with the big buggy, or what classes are you doing this weekend? I like to know. Uh, there was one question that uh. Let's see. You excited to see any new racers next year? Yes, I'm excited. But when you say new racers, are you talking about new racers that have never raced? Are you talking about new racers that have raced with us before? Or... uh Let's see. When when you say, "Am I excited for new racers?" Do you know somebody that's going to be racing? Uh, because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the Rat Rod Bug is going to be out. So if that's the case, yes, I'm excited to see. Uh. Jason in the rat yard buggy. Uh, you got that right. I will be excited. But yeah, I'm always excited to see new races. New races come out this year. Uh, Josh Krupinski, uh, he he come out of nowhere. I was like, wow, where does this guy come from? But, um, and uh, uh, Nathaniel Bell. I was like, wow, where'd this guy come out of? Where did he come from? Uh, and then you got the UTV guys. I'm do I I don't know some of those braiding up church. I would like to get him on here to know him more. I don't I don't get to see him much because I'm not there on Fridays. So I really don't know a lot about him, but I would like to know uh more about him. Uh there's some 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 drivers, you know, uh, I need to get to know a little bit more because I know I know a lot. But when it comes to UTV guys uh, and I know a lot of UTV guys, but the guys that own I know the guys that race and women, I know the guys that race uh, on Saturdays on the bounty. I know most of those guys. Uh, uh, there's some that I need to know more, but the Friday guys that don't race bounty, I don't, I don't get a chance to, to see them, but I will at finals. I will be there at finals as long as racing begins on Friday and Saturday. I'll be flying in Thursday. So, uh, Let's see. Tyler says that's the plan. We will see you after this weekend. Yeah, said that. Uh, Tiffany Porter says spouses take care of everything else and pump the brakes. <laughs> uh, uh, Tyler Young says we're going to ride for a cure. That's awesome. That's awesome. I, I'm thinking about going out there. I don't. I'm leaving it up to my son. We do have uh, 
for all you out of town people, we do have a thing in Pigeon Forge going on. Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. It's uh it's close to Gatlinburg, but we have a thing called the Rod Runs. We have people coming from all over the United States and they bring out their hot rods anymore. It's uh big de- jacked up diesel trucks and rubber band tires, but there's still some old old school cars and I told my boy that we might take the uh, e-bikes, electric bikes up there and uh, and ride around. So if he wants to do that, we're just going to do that. Um, let's see. Kyle Risley, are you going to be at Bikini Bottoms? Yes, sir. I'll be there on Saturday. I will not be there on Friday. Um, I can't get off work. Uh, but I will be there Saturday Early Saturday morning. So, yes, sir. I will be there. Uh, Brett Rose said, hopefully Josh's wife gives him permission to race next season. <laughs> Let's see. Jody says, don't worry, Brett. She loves this racing almost as much as he does. That's awesome. That is awesome to have, you know, uh, Josh's wife. Is, is Josh the one getting married? I've seen pictures and stuff. Uh, or is he already married? Is he getting married? I thought I've seen pictures. Uh, Kyle Risley says, I'll see you there. Awesome, buddy. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. They get married September 30th. Wow. Uh, I will always know when their anniversary is. Because that's my daughter's birthday. Yeah, September 30th. That's my daughter's birthday. He is getting married. Well, you know what that means, Josh. Jody, tell Josh. Once he says I do, that means I don't do that no more. You ain't in no rock bouncer no more. Or UTV. I'm just messing. I'm just. That's awesome, though, to have a, a, a woman in your life that that uh that either likes to do the same stuff you do or a woman in your life that don't care for you to go and do what you do do what you want to do go and live your life like my wife she don't she don't care for anything about off-roading but she knows i love it she lets me go She don't question anything. She actually helps me. She, (laughs) she sponsors me to get to, to get to where I need to be. She's a, she's a huge part in uh, addictive photography. So just because your lady don't like doing something with you, as long as she's supportive, then hey, you got to keep her. So uh, Brett says, now he has to build her a buggy. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see. Tanner says, if all goes my way, I might be able to get behind the wheel of the UTV next season, but it's still in the works. You talking about the, the Blue Can-Am UTV? Heck yeah. Or, or do you all have another UTV? Heck yeah. That'd be awesome, Tanner. Love to see you out there. Love to see you out there. Uh get some seat time though you need to get some seat time that's for sure so uh let's see oh my own utv okay heck yeah heck yeah clayton smith is watching clayton you all out there to uh you all make it in missouri yet are y'all still on your way Uh, good luck this weekend too, bro. It was good seeing you last weekend. So I went to, uh, took my wife to the Indianapolis zoo. So we're in, we're out of 15 minutes South of Knoxville, Tennessee. So I get off work Friday. We drive up to Indianapolis, go to the zoo in Indianapolis. And, uh, on the way a couple of days before I was like, I know Dan lives up there. 
Dan Bowman lives up there somewhere. So I got a hold of him. I was like, uh, y'all do anything Saturday? And he's like, no, just putting the motor back in Gold Rush. So I was like, hmm. I was like, you care if I come up? He's like, shoot, no, come on up. I'm like, okay. So after after the zoo, I call him and they was at uh they was at a car show and I was like, I'll go to the car show. I like looking at old cars. So we went out there and they had Misfit out there and they had their their trucks out there and their trucks are show trucks too. Them them trucks are bad, boy. But uh yeah, it's good catching up with the uh, uh, Clayton, Aston, and Dan, and Rachel, and the whole the whole family. It was cool hanging out with them. Uh, Dan bought my, me and my wife dinner, so I was like, "Dang, you didn't have to do all that." But that's the type of person Dan is. He's a he's a good dude. I like Dan a lot. Uh, he's new on the scene this year. He uh, he has several different buggies now, and and sold a buggy. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what he comes out with. We will see soon enough, though. Uh, Bikini Bottoms, he said he will have all three buggies there. So what three buggies are those? We will see. Tanner says, it's always been a dream of mine to race beside my Uncle Wes. Well, Tanner... Let me fill you in on a little secret. You're new, but I don't think you're going to be beside Wes. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, because Wes is an animal behind the wheel. Not saying you can't try, but I don't see you staying next to Wes. <laughs> but I know what you're saying, bro. I know what you're saying. Uh, Clayton Smith says, on our way. Cool deal. Cool deal. Y'all be safe. Uh, I guess y'all probably uh, won't be into what later tonight or so. But let's see here. All right. Any more questions before I get off of here? Been on here jaw jacking for an hour and eight minutes. It's supposed to have just been a quick 30 minute thing. Uh, Clayton says, Late tonight, early in the morning. Bro, Dan called me, said, Y'all wasn't going to leave last night because he needed a rest. And y'all was supposed to head out in the morning. If y'all are still on your way, you ain't supposed to be there till tomorrow morning. How much rest does he need? Good Lord. <laughs> uh, I'm just messing. Just messing. Uh, <laughs> pit stop. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I got you. Uh, yeah, well, I guess I'm going uh, to get off of here. If you all come by, anybody that wants to to uh, jump on a live show and be a co-host. I'm looking for that co-host, somebody who likes to talk. Uh, we, uh, Brett Rose, have y'all have a good one? Got to get back on the street heap I'm building. Uh, all right. But anyway, appreciate you all stopping in here. Uh, the uh, announcement is, no, I'm not quitting photography. And uh, Chris Lyons, <laughs> I missed the reveal. <laughs> yeah, see, you you just missed it. I've been telling everybody I'm, I'm quitting photography. I'm going to be a, a, a bouncer Lego builder. I'm going to build bouncers out of Legos. <laughs> But no, I'm not quitting. Uh, I'm actually looking for a co-host. If anybody knows a co-host, because we're going to be on here every Monday. And uh, sorry for pissing people off about tagging when I say every everyone. Uh, 
I do understand how that could get on people's nerves because I was in an RC group and uh, an RC uh, waffle page. And like every day, like every other hour, they was doing that. Everyone, everyone. And it was getting on my nerves and I actually had to leave. So, uh, but I promise you, when I do pictures, when I do videos, I will not uh, put everyone uh so you won't get tagged i will continue to do it on my live feeds so oh wow for those look at oh, this man. so i'm live on here wow <laughs> i didn't expect nobody to show up we was just about to check out check out huh yeah, I'm about to I'm about to shut her down. What's up, DC? How you doing, bro? Um, all right, man. Just seen your link here. Clicked on it, and I guess I uh get to be on the live feed, huh? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I was I was actually trying to uh, leave you alone for a while after the accident and everything. I was like, you know, I'm gonna let him rest up because I know he's got a million people talking to him, and because I was gonna get you on the show and I was gonna make an announcements so we could have more people you know, getting, getting the info. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to leave them alone and then hand a little bit. Then, so tell us, tell us what, what happened. Shit. <laughs> I hurt my back, man. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Man. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I think old Justin's, Justin's buggy is just not something ain't right with it. It's cursed. It's, it is cursed, but I think with a different, I think it's the seat and seat angle and the way he sits in it. Mm. Right you know? now, is, is it because you're different sizes? No, I, I fit pretty good in it actually. But he had that PRP seat in there, and it's kind of there's not much pad to it, and it's kind of composite underneath. You know, hard mounted. Mm. No, no, nothing there to soften the blow at all. It's just if it would have been a suspension seat, I'd have been okay. Well, I got you. I got you. Uh, so I was up there on the hill, and yeah. The the sound that was coming out of your mouth was the worst <laughs> was the worst thing I have ever heard a human being. And it was almost like you was on fire. I was like, holy crap, this guy needs help. So I was I was screaming for medics. I was like, medics, come on, get up here. So what I want to know though is you were sitting there in pain. And then the buggy starts to roll. You hit the brakes. You start it up and hit the brakes and roll down the hill. How do you do all that in the pain you were in? Man, I don't, I don't know. I just, I know I didn't want to roll backwards into, into nothing in the crowd. I figured if it rolled back off that hill, you know, it, it'd probably flip again. And I know, I know, I, I would have probably broke my really, really broke something if I would have flipped again, or you know, if I would have flipped afterward. Yeah. Uh, I just know I didn't want to roll back off a hill. I, and if, really, I don't know what come, what made me even think about starting it up, really. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know if you had to start it up. To, yeah, to, it didn't. That's why it started rolling backwards. It lost brake pressure, and you had to have it running for it to have brake pressure. Oh, okay. So I, I got on the brakes, and it stopped, and it, it slowly started going away, and then it just started, you know, rolling backwards. I knew start it back up it probably have brakes again and uh while luckily was, it did while you were screaming in pain yeah i was like dang that's crazy right there and then uh you started rolling back so kobe was in his buggy he he cranked it up and shagged butt all the way up there to get behind you so you could hit him in case you rolled down the hill yeah uh, yeah down the hill so well, that was one thing about Justice Buggy is I couldn't get I couldn't get parked with my arm wasn't long enough. Oh, okay. So I mean, it, I went to reverse and that was as far as I could go. And and when you know I figured it it would hold, but it didn't. It just kept on rolling backwards. So yeah, uh, to get to get in park out, and I didn't really I couldn't stretch that far really either. Mm. I still can't hold my arm straight out real real good. It it uh looks like I got a couple of broke ribs in my back. Ooh. So what all was it? What all did you break? Uh, burst fractured the T3 and T4. Mm. Uh, so basically just 
shattered them. Oh, they wow. look shattered. They look shattered in the X-rays. They're just kind of just all everywhere in the, in there. Oh dang! So how, yeah. how are you feeling now? I mean, I'm I'm good. I just ain't really picking up nothing heavy. I can I can still feel it in my back when I pick something up. It's that's you know got some weight to it. Or hell, if I pick something up with my arm stretched out, I can barely pick up an impact. Oh dang! But yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Right. But I'm doing all right. Yeah, I've I've been easing around doing shit. Working working in the garage? Yeah, a little bit here and there. Okay. Yeah. Just re- rebuilt the transmission a while ago. Uh you gotta have buddies help me put, pick it up, put it in the on the table and shit though, you know. Yeah. So. Now that's what you do for a living though, right? You're a mechanic? Yeah, yeah. I mess around with these bikes and stuff. Oh, so that's like what do you like what kind of bikes? Any bikes? You know, razors and mostly I like, you know, I, if I had my pick, I'd only work on razors, but, you know, just like, whatever. You work on Can-Ams too? I hate, I hate to. <laughs> but you will? I will, but I hate to. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, I, I just now I know a razor pretty much, you know, in and out. Yeah. Back on Can-Am, I ain't never really been, had one or had the time to figure out the easiest way to work on them either. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, last year <laughs> you got motion sickness working on one headed to Winrock, wasn't it? Yeah, right. <laughs> that, I think that was that was two years ago. Was that two years ago? Yeah. Dang. Wow. Time, time flies. It does. It does. You uh, that that was the bike that Derek Shaper's in. Yeah. Yep. You ever gonna race again? Oh yeah, I'm. A, I'm, I'm pissed off. I can't make Rush Springs this weekend. <laughs> they got them, but I gotta fix my truck. So whoever drove my truck back from Rush blew my head gasket or cracked my head one. So uh, I gotta uh, figure figure that out. Right. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't know who did that. Oh, uh, I don't matter really. They were just trying to help, but you yeah, know, just trying to help. Uh, yeah, I I seen you coming out, and giving a thumbs up, and I was like, "Well, he's moving." So at first, though, they was like, "They gotta cut, they gotta cut this out. They gotta cut the top off and then get him out." So I went down to the bottom while everybody was messing with you and uh, letting people know, you know, what I heard from up there. And uh, so, oh, we got a couple of other people that want to come in here too, DC. Uh, Hang on just a second yeah. to these other people. Uh, but, yes, so I went down there to the bottom of the hill and talked to uh, a bunch of different people. So what happened? Why did uh, they not end up having to cut the top off? Did you say, listen, I'm D.C. Thompson. I ain't I ain't bitching out like that. <laughs> no, nah, man, it's, it's kind of, you know, kind of shitty for, I mean, it is and it ain't, but I felt it was kind of shitty for me to get in somebody else's buggy and then all of a sudden the top get cut off of it, you know? Right. But yeah. I don't know. I've, I've had I've had this happen before. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's an old in- injury, I think. I hit a who's what, what we got here? Clay who? That's dark. That's a dark screen there. Oh no, it's so dark we can't even see. You see now? Yeah. Barely. Barely. But no, I hit some. I hit. Hell, them them two right there know what I'm talking about. Them damn uh, road barriers down there at uh, Barnyard Mud Boggers. Huh? Oh, yeah. Those things hurt you. You talking about when the frame went to the floorboard? Yeah. 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 (laughs) So. Long time ago. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, probably 10 years ago now, I guess. Yeah, probably. That was probably 14 or 15. I hit a daggum. I hit a, some road barriers down at Barnyard Mud Boggers. They're like six, seven high. And I never checked up before I hit them to let the suspension compress and raise up, you know? Mm-hmm. So I ran the second one and it stopped me and then buckled the razor up and Dang. dry the shaft. Frame, the frame was getting through the floorboard. Because the Polaris frames bolted together, and it broke all four bolts and went through the floorboard. Yeah, I hit it pretty good. About about 50 to a dead stop. Dang, good oh, lord. Yeah. 
and it threw my, threw my helmet off, threw my passenger's helmet off. He fell out on the ground crying, and I got out cussing, and <laughs> and Zach had to put us in a hotel and shit. Like we couldn't, we worked for four months, couldn't turn our dag up heads. We had to hire. We had to okay, hire. Was the raccoon with you after that? And do what? I said that's the same weekend you got through out of Huddle House with the raccoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had yeah. a raccoon in Huddle House. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joey. Joey about got arrested that night. Joey Beck. Yeah, Joey, yeah. Yep. Yeah. He told. He told. Him, <laughs> I had. To, I had the coon at Huddle House, and they. It was me, Joey, Tripp, and my old lady, and we were sitting there, and I had the coon on beside me. He's helping me eat. You know, he'd eat bacon and shit. And uh, when they dropped, when a waiter waitress come over and dropped off the food or got something, she she noticed that coon was there, but she called the police. Oh, no. When the police walked in, he said, "All right, who's got the coon?" And Joey Beck said, "We don't call him rat that around here. We call him." In- <laughs> oh wow! That's, and, what's wrong, that's what's wrong with my hometown. Yeah, wow. the, the cop said, "Come out here with me for a minute, sir." And when he did that, I I got old coon and me and we got in the <laughs> truck and left. <laughs> oh wow, Clay, who who's or not Clay, Cody. Who's uh? Where you at? You at rest Springs? Yes, sir. Who's all got around Cooper, you? Got Cooper beside me. Coop, what's up, big dog? What's going on? You winning what up, this ugly? Week? I'm gonna try. That's right. DC said, "What's up, ugly?" <laughs> what's up, ugly? <laughs> Who else I you see got y- back there? I see y'all at Bikini Bottoms. You better not. Are you racing? Oh, yeah. I'll be ready for Bikini Bottom. Good. Hey, I'm ready now, boy. What's coming? <laughs> My God. Yeah, come over here, Daniel. Who is that, Heckley? Yeah, he won't come over here. Oh, Lord. Mm-mm. We all sitting around beside a fire. Is it cold up there? I'm sure you think it's probably 60. 60 up here, probably. Sixty, them boys got hoodies on and stuff. I got shorts on though. Oh, hey, we're a live feed, man. Golly, oh crap! Hey, walk around, yeah, walk, around walk around, and put it up to people's you know? face. Oh, I'll, I'll pass the phone around. There you go. Hey, who, uh, who's over here? Yeah, Jay's right here. Go ahead, talk. Well, who we got? Who we got? got? Live feed. What's up, Jay? Hey, what, look at that ugly mug in there. What's up, DC? <laughs> what up, guys? <laughs> How you doing, bud? All right, I'm doing all right. Good. Yeah, I wish I could be there this weekend. Yeah, well, we wish you was here, too. You missed out on a big meal we always have for you. Oh, man, I, I figured so. <laughs> uh, you going to be at Bikini Bottom? Yeah, I'll be at Bikini you Bottom. Is that that Packer had DC? <laughs> What's up, Ma? What up, dude? Oh shoot! Oh man! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey, um, uh, you gonna be back in a big buggy, DC? Yeah, yeah. How close I, is it? Man, like I, like I, I think, man, that buggy is just the way that that seat set in that buggy, and. The hard composite seat that he's got is setting up at 90 degree angle. Your feet straight out in front of you. You just have no choice, but you I mean your back takes all the blow. <laughs> I, I took the ISP out of there after I broke mine, or I fractured T4 and T5 and J Oklahoma at the knockout race in Modern Warfare. Yeah. So it's sitting, yeah. that yeah. ISP still sitting in my shop. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's, it's probably mounted just about the same way, you know, straight yeah, up and straight down. Up, pretty much straight up and down. Yeah. Hey, DC, well, what all you got left on your buggy? Oh, um, still waiting on, still waiting on axles from Overton. I called him last Monday. He said it was going to be, he said it could be eight, eight to ten weeks. So you probably won't be racing this year. No. Nah. Uh, that Garner said we, we wouldn't have got hurt if you didn't hit it like a. Yeah, I, I see what I see what he said down there, but you know what? I hit it better than he hit that daggum hill at fucking um 
<laughs> what you call it in the Bobby's buggy? Yes. Yeah. No. No. At uh, where were we at? Up. We were up. Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood. Hollywood or whatever. Hollywood. Yep. Yeah. Hollywood. Faye, did you get a haircut? Yeah, I had to get my ears lowered. I got got it up looking scraggly out here. <laughs> Uh-oh, DC showing us the buggy. Yeah, I got to open my door for my buddy. He's a token transmission for me. Oh, okay. Well, I, I didn't get to talk much, but I'm going to have to get off here. They're getting a little crazy out here. I'm going to have to do a little supervising. All right. All right, ugly. All right. Hey, good luck this weekend. Thank you, sir. Y'all have a good one. See y'all. Good, yeah, buddy. There you. Oh, yeah. man, they out there partying, ain't they? He said, I walked away not crying like a sissy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. Uh, you know, Zach, he likes talking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Hey, Zach hung out at the goddamn uh, the hospital with me for two days. About got arrested because he pulled a gun on a security guard for waking him up. Zach did? Yeah. God. He's sitting there in the front seat of his truck, sleeping. The security guard comes tapping on the window. He, <laughs> what are you doing out? Hey, hey, you know he said you didn't walk away, or I walked away not crying like a sissy. I, your comeback. You know what you should have said? You should have said, "Yeah, you fell like a sissy." Remember yeah. When he, he, remember when he <laughs> fell off that damn mountain in uh, Texas? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Zach said, "F that guy." You talking about the security guy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, f that nurse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the heck! I had a daggum nurse in there. So, man, I had a headache, man. Pounding that, pounding ass headache, and she she wouldn't give me no. All, all I was asking for was Tylenol. She wouldn't give me none, and. She kept saying, you know, you got three hours before you can have anything else. You got two hours. You got 45 minutes. You got 10 minutes. Man, when she said 10 minutes, I threw the phone at her, called her a bitch. <laughs> Dang. And then, hell, I, I didn't know they really – I knew they gave me a catheter, but I didn't, it didn't remember at the time. Because I remember telling a woman, I said, no, it's tucked up inside. You're going to have to blow on it. <laughs> and Zach, Zach was sitting there. But – I, I got stood up when I threw that phone at her. I got up out of bed and I was like, all right, I'm going to find Zach. I'm leaving. They won't give me no pain medicine. I'm leaving. And they had me strapped down and I've got all unstrapped and everything, pulled all my IVs out, pulled all them sensors they had on me off. And I, they had the daggum robe laid over the top of me and I had that catheter in. Well, I stood up and I took off walking until I got yanked back the other direction. <laughs> I, had to, I had to go over and get my bag off the bed, and I walked out that hallway butt-ass naked, walked up to the desk, and I was like, I couldn't think of that gum waiting room, you know, at the time. And I was like, man, where's that room at? Where everybody waits on you, you know? When you're in here in the hospital, where's your family? You know, they, they're sitting there and you keep waiting on you to get out. Where's, where that, where's that place at? <laughs> they're like, what are you talking about? And then I was like, you know, that big, where's that big guy that was with me? You know, where's he at? <laughs> and I'm butt ass naked. And then they's like, well, you ain't going to cuss our employees. I said, well, you can, they said, you ain't going to cuss our employees. You can leave. I said, well, I'm fucking trying to leave. <laughs> and I couldn't find Zach. So I just went back in there and laid back on my hard ass gurney that had me on. So, uh, how long was you in there? Three and a half days. Three and a half, and you was ready to go. What first day, second day? Yeah, I didn't want to go, mm. but you know, yeah, uh, I know how that is. Yeah, no, yeah, because yeah, they was talking about life flight me out of there and stuff. I was like, man, I ain't crazy. Yeah, the ambulance, the, they already called me about one that my payment for the ambulance ride, and I ain't. I stopped answering the phone. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I figured the park or something would have insurance or something on that. No, I guess I don't know. The, the transport services have been caught blowing me up. Yeah, you, I, answered, you don't, I answered answered one and put them on the do not do not answer list. 
<laughs> you don't you don't want that helicopter bill. No. <laughs> no. No. Hey, my buddy got one when we were kids we were younger from Sardis, Mississippi, up here to South Haven, which is like thirty mile, thirty five miles or so. And it was over a hundred grand. Dang. That's crazy. Yeah. Zach said we should have just went home, but they made it sound like he was on his deathbed. Yeah. At Dang. first at first they were telling me I had to have surgery and everything. You're you I was there no no choices. I was having surgery and then uh the doctor come in. Finally he was at the lake and it took him two days to come in there and they were he told him uh he told me that I didn't have to have surgery, I didn't have to have a brace. And when I heard that, I was like, shit, I'm ready to go. Yeah. We we, we heard uh I think Garski was filling us in too. Yeah, Michael come by the hospital too. Yeah. He uh he filled us in. And uh yeah. Yeah, man, I appreciate you coming on. I uh, like I said, I was gonna get you on eventually, but I just wanted to make sure you was good and rested up. But yeah, yeah, I'm good. Heck, I've been easing around on my dirt bike a little bit and stuff. I just, like I said, I ain't just ain't picking nothing up. Yeah, good, good. That's good. I, that's about the only time I'm. I really ain't got no pain. Is is except when I try to pick something up. It's you know got a little weight to it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, I'll what all I miss on your end? What what what's this about? What you, you I heard? Were you quitting? Uh, well, um. No, hell no, I ain't quitting. <laughs> um, I just just talked about uh, some of my hardships I had when I first come on, you know, and uh, am I going to quit? No, I ain't quitting, but I am looking for a, uh, a co-host. Every Monday night at 8 o'clock, I'm going to start doing this Hardline show. And, uh, you know, I used to do it once a month, maybe twice a month. But I'm going to try to do it every single Monday. And if I could get a co-host that likes talking and knows about the business of rock bouncing, knows the drivers and, you know, they don't have to be a driver themselves as long as they know a little bit about the sport and it helped, it helped with questions and stuff like that. But yeah, that was, yeah. that was the announcement and just, uh, just looking for a co-host and I'm going to be doing this every Monday. So I got you call whenever you want, bro. Yeah, but tell us what all what all's going on and, and stuff like that. Well, uh, I appreciate you, appreciate you. Gonna you, gonna be, you gonna be at Bikini Bottoms? Yes, sir. I'll see you there. All right, see you, bro. Hi, right, bud. That was DC Thompson. I was not expecting him. I uh, like I said at the beginning, I I uh, sent a whole bunch a whole bunch of links out two people uh, that, uh, you know, in case they wanted to come on or whatever, they could. Uh, Zach Garner said, I will ask Matt Holt for you. Hey, Matt Holt would be awesome, but he's a, he's a busy man, just like everybody else. So, and, and I understand that everybody's got lives, but, uh, Matt Holt would be uh it would be it'd be pretty pretty awesome to have. All right, so we discussed that. We discussed uh some of that stuff. So now I'm gonna send some links out to some other drivers that are not UTV, that are not rock bouncers. Uh They, they are RC drivers because uh, there is a big RC race at uh, Rush Springs this weekend. So let me see if I could get a couple of guys in here. If not, then I'll just cut off real quick. Uh, let's see here. Go 
Toneladas. I just sent some links to uh, a couple of drivers. I know that's going to be out there. I don't know if anybody if any of them is going to answer, answer the links, but uh, we'll give them about five minutes, maybe 10 minutes uh, and see if they answer. But so there is a uh, uh, huge race, RC race. We had our East coast at Winter Rock, And I guess you could say this is not West coast, but towards the Western Western part of, uh, they're going to have, so they're, they're only doing two races this year and this is going to be the second one coming up. So we'll give them a couple minutes, see if they want to come on here and chit chat about it. If not, that's cool. I miss that. Uh, I hate that I'm missing this race. It's, uh, sucks. Travis said, hey, Travis, how you know you ain't got enough service if you don't even try? All you got to do is try, Travis. If it, don't, if it don't work, then you don't have to get on. Uh, let's see, I got one of the guys said he's, uh, he's trying, trying to come on right now. Uh, so... Uh, We'll see, but it'd be cool to talk to uh, other other racers, bouncer drivers, see what what all they're bringing there, you know, who they are, where they coming from. But I'm looking forward to Bikini Bottoms. Bikini Bottoms is going to be. Should I go ahead and I'm. I'm almost going to say it's going to be bigger than the finals. Uh, who's this ugly guy? What up? What's happening, Mr. Gertie? Good. How are you doing? Doing good. Where you at? Uh, just south of Rush Springs, like 20 minutes. I'll oh, see so you in the hotel? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Cool. How long you been there? I don't know. Probably an hour, maybe. Like that. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you got there earlier today or, or whatever. No, I left after work as well. Four hours to get down here. All right. Let's see if this guy has enough service. Oh, man. Oh, it's pitch dark. How do I look? Uh, Travis, turn, your, uh, turn your dome light on. We're, We're working on it. On this, this ain't our car. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a break, man. <laughs> All right. This, this is Travis Vance and Chris Taylor in the same car. That's and then, scary, uh, isn't it? Then, yeah. Then you got uh, yeah. Dustin Gerding up here at the hotel. So they are uh, they are a couple of the RC drivers that are going to be racing uh, Saturday. Y'all racing tomorrow too, or just Saturday? No, Saturday. 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 All right. And is uh, who's building the hills? Uh, I know Matt's planning on it for sure. I was going to help him tomorrow. He's, he said he's got a pretty cool area picked out. So. Okay. Cool. Travis, who's driving? Chris is driving right now. Okay. I've, I've done put in my six hours. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how long was the trip for you all, for uh, Travis and them and Dustin? It's like Somebody four hours. Ours is ten and a half hours. Yeah, it's crazy. So you got ten and a half and then four for Dustin? Yeah. Wow. It was, it was a little over nine hours for me to get to Windrock at the beginning of the year. Yeah, yeah, you did come out there too. So that was a good time. That's that's man, that's gonna be a, a good little race uh, Saturday. How many oh, hills yeah. y'all doing? Uh, it'd be four per class, just like we did at one round. Okay, all right, cool. Now, is there gonna be a uh, a grand champion? Like uh, since like I know you will for so. the race for the race, but will you have like? 
the grand champion for both races together. I know we talked about it at the beginning of the year. I don't know if they, if they did trophies for that or not. Yeah, I don't know. Who won at Win Rock? Was that Blake? Uh, Blake won one. Or no, yeah, Blake won both, I think. Didn't he? Or did Chris? I think Chris won one. Chris, did you win one at Win Rock? Yeah, I, I think they're. Signal. Yeah, I got I got second in both classes, and then I think Chris got first in one class. I think Blake got first in the other. Okay, but you finished all four hills, didn't you? Yeah, I was the only one that finished all four hills in both classes that day. Oh, dang! That's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's real crazy. <laughs> but so you finished all four hills, but Blake ended up winning. So how did that work? Well, so Blake didn't make all the hills in plastic. He made all the hills in metal, and he won metal class. Oh. And then it was the same way for Chris. It was the same way for Chris in the in the plastic class, I think. Ah, I he, got he, you. he made all the hills in plastic, but not in metal. Okay. How many uh, How many people y'all expecting out there? There ain't gonna be many here. Maybe. I don't know. I think there's like a, there's probably gonna be less than ten of us. I got you. Uh, I sent Matt. It'd be good. Matt, I sent Matt uh, a link also, uh, but yeah, I, he's down here. He's probably busy. Is he down there already? Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. He's and uh, hotel too. how many how many buggies did you bring with you? Uh, I've got three tent scale buggies, and then I'm running my SCX six tomorrow for the first time. Nice, heck yeah! Yeah. Uh, what chassis did you go with on the six? Uh, one of Travis's. I bought it used. Oh, okay. Oh, they're. Fun. It was. It was actually brand new. But it was used. Oh, uh, they they are fun. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like I like messing with it more than the regular the ten tent scales. Yep. Hang on, let me let me grab it real quick. Yeah, go grab it. Flip this camera around. Can, can you do that on here? Yeah. Well, they they got uh, I don't know if you can. No, you just shut it off. No. All right. <clears throat> nice. Is that is blue? It? Like, is that is that yeah, uh? It, it's got like a blue metallic flake powder on it. Okay, I see it now. Yeah. But. Now uh. So those swampers ain't cut or nothing, are they? No, not yet. I wanted to run it before I did anything with them. I got you. So we got uh, they switched to Chris's phone. Let's see if you got. <laughs> let's see if you got <laughs> any better you got service he's here now. He's got Verizon. Uh, what do you got, Cricket? <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> Matt Mobile. <laughs> Oh man, y'all are gonna have a blast next couple of days. Oh, we are. Oh, oh yeah, there's gonna be a lot of broken parts by the end of the weekend. I'll tell you that. <laughs> hey, Travis and Chris, uh, Dustin just showed us his six. Did y'all bring y'all sixes too? I brought mine. Negative. Mine's in a box still. What? Oh, come on now. You you you've had how long? Yeah, I'm, yeah, a long time. Oh, it's football season now, though. Them RC cars go away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. Hunting season, football season, about over. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so y'all are doing four hills on two different classes, or are you doing the SCX six class too? Uh, there's nothing set in stone for the sixes, but I mean, I'm sure we could run them. Don't Matt have a six? Yeah, he, he brought his. Okay, yep. so there's at least going to be three or four of y'all. Yeah. So, cool. Uh, Matt's going to build the hills, but you're going to help. Don't make Plan. them too easy. Don't make them too easy. This is the oh, final. They'll, they'll, they'll be fun. I mean, at least do something Travis can't climb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking we don't need to put no tight turns in it so Matt gets us with that rear steer. You know what I mean? He don't have rear steer no more. 
Oh, did he do away with it? Yeah, he, he, he did away with it about a year ago. He kept breaking the rear end. Oh. oh. Yep. Now, do you race up there where Matt is? Uh, Yeah, I did. Uh, I did like twice last year, and they've only done one race this year. They just they don't have no people up there. But we did uh, one race, uh, I think it was like in March or April or something. They got a really fun spot up there, some big dirt hills and stuff. It's, it's a neat little area. Cool. Heck yeah. So, yeah, I'm definitely uh, glad to see him again. Well, uh, why are you so scared to run that awesome UTV that you got that you've been whipping up on everybody? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wish I could have brought it this weekend. I, I didn't have it completely ready. There's a, I did do some stuff with the the fuel system on it. It was whenever I got the buggy, it had sat forever, so the the fuel system's real dirty on it. And uh, after I run it real hard, it like clogs the injectors and everything. So mm. I was in the middle of tearing all that apart, and I, I didn't want to rush it and it all back together for this weekend did, did i see that right that picture where you had the number one trophy and paul wolf had two <laughs> yeah that felt pretty good that was pretty neat dang, dang. Yep. yep where was that at uh it was a pike's off road in bowling green missouri oh yeah who, who, who put that on uh there's a series called the missouri mudders it, it, it started as like a they do like uh like mud stuff for the utvs and they, they got a big uh there's a big hillside there that they, they started doing hill climbs with a couple years ago. And uh, I, I ran three races with them this year. They do like a five race series. Oh, so, okay. Cool. It's a good no. little series. They, they do a good job with it. Dang. Boy, I bet your head, you couldn't fit in your truck when you got in there ready to go home. Your head was so I don't big. Know if it was that bad. <laughs> uh, it, it was pretty neat for sure. Paul's a wheel man. So. Yeah, he is. You be yep. calling anything. You doing something good? Yeah. He, uh, he told me he's gonna get me next time. I said, "Yeah, I don't doubt that." So, <laughs> uh, y'all, Travis, y'all bring a lot of spare parts, or don't plan on breaking? We didn't bring a whole lot. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, we brought eight bouncers, so if we got a <laughs> we got a raw parts. We feel. I mean, you, we care. You all brought eight bouncers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wow. They brought the whole garage. Wow. Well, I know you got two, so did Chris bring six? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I brought my six, which, I mean, if I break in, I'm just out of luck. But yeah. uh, then we brought two crawlers just in case. <laughs> backup rig. <laughs> <laughs> backup, backup rig. <laughs> Oh, some parts, just mainly major parts, axles, stuff like that. But gotcha. man, I, I bring way too much stuff. I got a whole rift as a parts a parts rig. I brought two transmissions, and I probably have like eight or ten spare axle shafts. Hey. Oh, Dustin's got a set. <laughs> well, hey, we're good for a couple days. <laughs> Wow, oh, I've seen you guys drive before, though, so we'll see. <laughs> they just right. they, they need to stay in the cars tomorrow. We can't be running them tomorrow. Oh, you know better than that. <laughs> you know better than that. that. That's why I brought my six and my crawler. Yep, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna run my six tomorrow for sure. There you go, Chris. Chris will run his six too. Oh, never mind. Oh wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, fellas. Well, I'm going to get off here. I got to get in bed. Uh, y'all have a good night. Travis, y'all be careful heading that way. How many hours y'all got before you get there? Uh, we got about three hours before we're there. Where are you guys staying at, Travis? Well, we're staying at the same hotel with Matt. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. We're going to try to get breakfast in the morning. I don't know if you want to try to meet up with us or not. I'll probably just meet you at the park. Okay. I didn't figure oh. you want people to see you out in public with us. Yeah, he's yeah, not that's right. <laughs> that's right. No, I'll, I'll probably eat breakfast here and then head, head up to the park. I'm south right. of the park. You guys are kind of like north of it, I think. Hmm. All right, fellas. Y'all have a good night. Uh, safe travels. Uh, good luck this weekend at the race. Yep. And, uh, uh, post what, whatever, whatever y'all can that way for us that didn't get to come, you know, like I'm me. Gonna try to yep. If I can. Do I what? Brought my, I 
pod and extra battery, so I'm gonna try to do a live feed. Okay. Oh, cool. Cool. Uh, if you can zoom in on the hills, that'd be real nice. Yeah, we when that, yeah, I don't know. I don't know all, where the, all, where right, the hill climb area is. is. Right. All right. Well, y'all be careful. Have fun. Good luck. And uh, go win some trophies, fellas. That's right. All right. Appreciate y'all. See y'all. I appreciate it. See ya. All right. That was Dustin Girding, Travis Vance, and Chris Taylor. They are almost uh, – Dustin is at Rush Springs. Travis and Chris are almost at Rush Springs. They are three – of the top RC drivers in the nation. Um, I have been around uh, Travis and Chris uh, for a couple years now, and uh, I'm not saying that just because I, I run with them. And Dustin, I've known him for a couple years, and I've raced against uh, Dustin for a couple years. So I know how he runs. So for me to say they are some of the top guys in the nation when it comes to RC uh, rock bouncing, uh, they are. They are a good group of guys. Appreciate them coming on. And uh, exciting show. Exciting show. DC Thompson come on here. And then Clay uh, Clay and Cody and uh, Jay Stortz. And we had uh, Heckley in the background. So it was a nice little show. I appreciate it, fellas. Uh, Y'all have a good one. So, um, Monday. We're going to do this every Monday. Uh, I will have something set up in stone. I don't know exactly how the show is going to go, but uh, I'm going to try to get something more exciting than just me sitting here talking. So, I appreciate y'all coming on. And I will see you all Monday.